Watch this ball from Klusner. Absolute scream of a catch, Johnny Rhodes. And we'll just go, we'll go back to live commentary at the over. Well, that is quite spectacular, isn't it? Well, Cross shakes his head. And Corey felt he had four runs. Pretty firmly, not quite where he intended, sliced a bit. John T. Rhodes knows he can only just get a hand to it, but look at that for concentration. He is special. Very, very special. Congratulated by his teammates, Robert Croft leaves the field. He's gone for 12, England now 78 for 7. Can you believe it? We've seen some unbelievable catches during the Test Series, particularly from an Australian perspective. And this is every, good as, every bit as good as what we've seen, if not better. Matthew Hayden, full-blooded cut shot. John T. Rhodes diving to his right, one-handed, spectacular. That's unbelievable, John T. Rhodes. He's done it again. And that's Matthew Hayden gone for 27. What a big wicket it is at the right time for South Africa. Australia now 84 for two. He can't touch the sideline as he delivers. Brilliant! Wow! That is unbelievable from Rhodes. It went like a tracer ball at just to Rhodes' right. He dived full length, got two hands to it. It was flying, that one. And Martin's on his way. John T. Rhodes is absolutely outstanding in that region. Yes, it's that man Rhodes again. Full blooded slash. John T. Rhodes, both hands, and eventually the right hand gets it. Those either stick or they don't, and mostly with Johnny Rhodes, they do. So Damian Martin goes for 15. Another blinder from John T. Rhodes. Australia now 312 for five. Chanty Rhodes now becomes the first South African to take 100 catches as a fielder in one internationals. And uh, Garth, I think he might remember that one for some time. He certainly will, and he'll certainly have a couple of bruises too. That thing was going off that bat at in excess of 160, 170, I'd say. Look at this angle. Crash. We've seen it all so often. He is just absolutely brilliant. They're not words or adjectives to describe that little fella. He is worth his weight in gold in any team. You get just as excited every time you see it, though. Not too much emotion on Rose's face. Ah, oh, well. What about that? What a superb catch. He had to make ground to it. It wasn't just one of those where you can throw yourself and uh, it may stick or it may not he made half a pace and hurled himself away to the right well, Michael Bevan has been caught in that area a number of times but uh, quite often the ball is just looping to the gully on that occasion it was really flying brilliant catch by Jonty Rhodes and Australia a four for 79 Yeah, well, Laura is playing that shot again. A little bit too close to him. And straight to John T. Rhodes at uh, backward point. What a superb catch. Right at his boot laces. But not anymore. John T. Rhodes in the way. And anything close to him is going to be hauled down as he pulled that one down. Two-handed. And Graham Hick goes for 83. Tremendous innings by him. I suppose Australians, even though they're not involved in this conflict, will point to the fact that the score is 187. Is he a great fielder? 
done some wonderful things, including that run out of Imzimam up in Brisbane. That was a super catch. Kick out for 83, a standing ovation for the England batsman, 5 for 187.